scenes. Hey y'all, shout out to my earrings. Hello, hello, shoe cam. The sponsor for today, indirectly, because I support black businesses. And conscious community, community wear. Kevin, we love you. We healthy in these streets. And look, Markeisha. Okay. She, look, I got her. Sorry, let me change the, let me the, the phone. I'm trying it's to okay. end the watch party. I'm trying to end the watch party. <laughs> it's okay. okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ooh, we live. How are you doing? How have you guys been? We're here today, baby. We live. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please comment as we get engaged today. Come on in close. We friends. We close now, right? I mean, we've, we've been through a lot together. We've been through a lot. Listen, we are here at Brewer's Cafe. Shout out to you, AJ Brewer. Do y'all see the... You know what that green means. That means we're at Brewers. We're at Brewers Cafe, and I'm here with someone amazing, someone awesome, someone beautiful, an entrepreneur, a real woman just like you and me. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to let her introduce herself. She's been sitting here patiently as I ramble. You know, I got to talk to my cousins and my family and my friends first, but we're going to go ahead and introduce her. I'm going to get her to speak loud and clear and tell the audience who you are. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. Look yeah, at thank you for look. having me on. Yeah, I appreciate listen. it. We're so excited. Well, tell, tell everybody right. your name. I'm Markeisha Harris Minor, mm -hmm. and I'm on today to be able to introduce myself and um, a pretty big platform that I have going on right now. Yes. Um, that's Local Search. Local Search is a nationwide directory and app for locating black owned businesses all over the country. So that it. means wherever you're at, like we're in Richmond right now, but if you're in Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Philly, wherever you're at. <laughs> You'll be able to pull up local search, put in what you're looking for, whatever category, if it's a cafe, a restaurant, if you're looking for an accountant, whatever, you'll be able to go in there and find what's local to you. Any black owned businesses, if you're listening, please make sure you get listed. Look, we're socially distancing, okay? So I'm, we are. So I'm not going fully, not going fully be in the frame, yeah. but I'm here in essence. And listen, yes. we wanted to bring her here because she is an amazing woman. I saw her page on Instagram. Social media works, y'all. Y'all better pay it attention. Does. And I wanted to ask her some questions. So this is a real interview with real women. And we're going to just ask her a few things about her journey. And let's get started. When it came to starting this endeavor, who were you before this truly got started? So tell, tell us a story. So how it all started. Okay, so before this, I was transitioning into becoming an entrepreneur. I was coming out of doing full-time work. Um, my background was in the mental health field. Okay. Um, I have a degree in psychology. I graduated from BCU. BCU? Come yeah, on, Rams. BCU. We know y'all in here. Give us yes. some hearts. I knew that I was going to be transitioning into being a full-time entrepreneur. I had a plan set. Um, mm -hmm. I knew what I wanted to do. So the beginning of 2020 was when I knew that I was going to be a full-time entrepreneur. Okay. It happened a little sooner. Right. Um, around <laughs> October, November, because when it's time for you to move. You got to move with you the gotta spirit. You got to move. You right. got to move. So I moved. Okay. And um, I started doing business consulting full-time. Okay. All of right. my um, clients, they were all African-American. Right. So, I mean, hey, I loved it. They had awesome right. products, services, just anything you wanted to offer, I was mm -hmm. able to link myself with different people to be able to help them develop their business. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I saw that was missing was the exposure mm -hmm. and their businesses being highlighted. Mm -hmm. I was able to link them to people like, hey, you know, you need some photography done, Word of mouth. you need this person, yeah, you need a logo, I got this person, and mm -hmm. it was great. And so even from um, just the business, the business connections, I will also link them to consumers. So I sat back one day and I'm looking and I'm like, I see the black dollar recycling mm -hmm. right in front of my eyes. This mm -hmm. is good. I knew that I could only do but so much, though. Right. Like, I could link somebody to this person and this person, but I wanted it to be something that could be reproduced and used over and over um, and to basically mm -hmm. thrive on its own. So that's where the idea for a directory came. Okay. So I did some research online. How can I get a directory started? I found a good site. From there, the local search app was launched in December. Okay. Like, so what am I going to call this? Like, I want businesses right. that are black to be highlighted. Right. And then the biggest focus, because it's, it's great to buy black, y'all. Right. Buy black, y'all. Buy black. Y buy black. <laughs> but also make sure that you're supporting those black-owned businesses that are local to your area. Right. Tell them one more time right in the camera. Support Look right in the camera. Support the black-owned businesses that are local to your area. Support your People. That's how you start to support your community right. in your neighborhood. It's great. You know, you see a shirt you want to buy. 
um, there in Cali. Okay. Right. So you're you're feeding that person and their family. Right. And they're putting those Easy. dollars back into where they live. Mm -hmm. But use that same concept with the businesses that are where you're at. Right. Like literally go to your neighbor. Um, and since we can drive, a neighbor may be 10 minutes away. Right. You know, and support what it is that they have to offer. So kind of going into that, mm -hmm. black, local. I put that together. We have local. Local. So that's what local is. I love it how you started mm -hmm. that. Look, mm -hmm. and she said local t-shirt. Shout out to uh, Conscious yes. Community Wear. Healthy. We appreciate you. Yeah, he's listed. I have that shirt, actually. Do you? No. Yeah, he's listed. I have Listen. that shirt. I love it. He's listed. I love, I love his brand. Community Love. That's the newest mm -hmm. one. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I have that shirt, You too. have that shirt? I have to get my shirt. and in mauve. Okay. It's Come like on. a pink color. Right. <laughs> he told me it's mauve. Come on, fashion. <laughs> Listen, he is the fashion, okay? He, right. He makes it all fashion. I, and I think sometimes we find one person that we like, and we want to stick with that person. Right. And, and we, we don't want to maybe distribute the dollar, not just right. recycling it. But, you know, share it amongst some people. Exactly. Find who you really yeah. rock with and mesh love with. Love on I everybody. Love, love on everybody. Everybody. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. <laughs> Outside of just the business integral, you know, doing the business plan and doing all that stuff, what other obstacles did you encounter that you had to overcome personally or professionally on mm -hmm. your journey? So I've had this question asked before um, uh -huh. when I was doing an interview. And I want to relate it to, like, mm -hmm. being... A black female okay um, and also being young so that was that the was biggest. really yeah an obstacle that mm. I came I, I would come into when trying to share what it is that I had to people around me mm -hmm. um, because you know I I think I look a little younger than I really am <laughs> you know black don't crack I'll be 30 <laughs> in a couple of weeks she's about to be 30 y'all 30 <laughs> and so that was that was a difficulty trying okay. to prove myself to people like right. me um, because I know I have a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. um, I know Local is a great idea. I know the person behind the brand, which is me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm very persistent. I'm going to keep going and right. I'm not going to give up. Right. So failure is not an option. Mm -hmm. So I knew that um, Local was, was going to be what it is now. And then as it continues, I have, you know, I have really big aspirations as to right. what I expect for it to be. Right. But sometimes, you know, with the package that's delivering it, people may or may not be ready to buy in right away wow. so that was a that was an obstacle that i had to deal with starting off you know one or two years is experience in yeah. this day and time yeah. so you know i understand that completely as far as having that trust and i'm glad you trusted yourself yeah and just decided that's to just it do starts. it that's right. when it starts trusting in yourself mm -hmm. and the more trust you have in yourself right i think that more people can start to trust you yeah right. i mean it goes to confidence right goes back to confidence but yeah trust is definitely earned so it's like at the end of the day i didn't knock any of it it just made right. me want to work harder and stay consistent to be right. able to show what it is that i had to offer do you receive um support from other businesses like you support them because you, your whole platform basically is yeah. to showcase other people do you feel like you receive that support back I do. I do. I receive a lot of individual support. I appreciate and I'm very grateful for all of the support that I get. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's overwhelming. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. And I, yeah, I just, I never would have thought. It's like I'll get so much support that sometimes is unsolicited of like, hey, you need help with this? Right. You know I can do this. Right. I've had other people right. that, you know, I may have met through um, social media. Right. And they'll be like, well, you know, I see you're doing a lot. I'm good at this. I'll just send you my resume. I like that. And I'm like, okay. And I've learned to just say thank you. Right. And accept the help. Because, right. I mean, you accept can't do help. it all. You can't do it all. Accept the help. Accepting the help is the yes. one thing that yes. has helped me uh, make it easier to get older. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just gracefully. Right. Gracefully. gracefully. Just accept no the stress. help. Right. Yeah. What is your biggest dream to date for yourself? Well, there was a status that I um, commented on the other day. Uh huh. Um, the age that you want to retire. Right. So my age has always been 40. Okay. I want to retire when I'm 40, but not retirement in like the typical way. Right. I want to be retired um, in the sense that I have um, have my residual income coming yeah. in and, you know, my passive income and I don't have to mm -hmm. go out and be grinding and hustling, mm -hmm. you know, every day, putting in the hard work. Still putting in the hard work, but just a little differently right. so that I can also spread myself into other areas. Right. So I want to be able to travel, be able to um, help in other regards, be able to have the money to help in other regards like I would, like I really want to. Right. You know, I want to be able to, to get up and go Girl, yes. whenever I want to <laughs> leave the 
the state, the country, the country, okay. leave when the I, continent. You right. know, like my my biggest dream. But I'm okay. a I'm a helper. Okay, I love to help and I love to learn. Um, I always say that when I you know retire at forty, right. I want to be a lifetime student. So it's oh, a lot yeah. of other things I want to learn. I want to go back to school. Mm. But I you know I kind of want to go back to school not with earning a degree in mind, just but just getting that knowledge. So I want right. to be able to do things like that. That's my biggest dream. Yeah. Well, in your day-to-day -day management of self and running these businesses and your app and consulting everyone, mm -hmm. what is your favorite form of self-care, personally and professionally? Mm. I knew that's where this question was going. <laughs> Look, and it's okay if, you, if you're not incorporating self-care because we are I, growing. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to find that balance. So I don't okay. have on my bracelet today. Okay. Um, a plug so I have this uh, business that I love to support it's a kidpreneur her mm -hmm. name is Kennedy and it's um, her brand is called Kennedy's collection she makes bracelets mm. so I have a few from her and one of the charms um, she has affirmation bracelets and it's mm. balance. balance balance is what I need I'm speaking it into <laughs> every existence. day I, I'm I wear that bracelet every day but I knew today I you know it was a little right. more Right. dressed I up so I didn't have it on but I look at that bracelet every day I say one of these days I'm going to come on in the frame for this one. I'm going to give you the key right now to balance. Do you want to know what it is? I'm listening. Balance, please. The please, key to please. balance is knowing that you will never fully balance everything equally. That's mm. not what it's about. Balance is knowing when to pivot when necessary. Like today, I need to give 40, 50% to this interview. Really, I'm giving yeah. 110. You understand where you I'm going. Yeah, I'm loving thank it. Thank you, honey. <laughs> but, you know, 50% to my interview, 50% yeah. to my son, 50% to my job. You know, just I'm putting things in the buckets everywhere. Sometimes you can't give everybody 100%. I love that. Okay? Balance is knowing that I need to redirect my energy when necessary. Mm. Period. Yeah. I love that. And I'm going to start incorporating that. Right. Like, Today. You, you do feel like I mean you're in your twenties. Not that not that I'm you so can wise. At 30, 30 okay. in a couple of weeks. Let's go ahead and she, claim she, she, come on thirties. Okay, she's 30 excited now. about these thirties. But am. you know when you're when you're in your twenties, you definitely feel like you have yeah. to give everybody hundred and forty percent, accepting what you can and yeah. cannot do. Yeah, is balance for for yeah. sure. What you said that I mean you said a mouthful. Yeah, and it's, I think it's something I've needed to hear because yeah. I've been been trying to figure it out because I'm the type of person anything I do right. I have to give my all to it because yeah. I'm a very dichotomous black and white type of person. Yeah. It's either this or it's that. It's no in between. Right. It's no balance. So I'm always giving, like you said, yeah, um, more than a hundred percent to everything. And sometimes but, you need to. Yeah, but, but it can't do it all at the same right. time having to know when to do it right so yeah so i think that's going to be self-care sure. for me definitely prioritizing okay mm -hmm. what's going to get 110 percent today right what's going to get 110 percent tomorrow right but i can't give everything right 110 percent because i'm gonna be miserable you girl you'd be tired literally you be tired. how are you yeah. gonna, how are you going to curate a space for new ideas Mm. You know what I mean? Right. Sometimes you need to give ten percent to. Oh, I had this idea. Let me do a little research. Another ten percent. Let me let me write out a logo or whatever that idea and be is. Prepared and planned. Yeah, for it. just piece by piece. Thank Nancy. you. Life is a jigsaw puzzle out here, y'all. Stop yes. trying to figure it all out in one day, okay? Hey, we appreciate your time today. We appreciate you showing up for us and being here with us. My one last final question before we close out is: How do you want to be remembered? That's the deepest question I've Ooh. been I've been asked in a very long time. No pressure. I, I just want to be remembered as kind of like a resource and a beacon of help. Like I've been in positions mm -hmm. where things may not always be good. Right. You know, you're looking for that silver lining on the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a good feeling. Right. So something that um, I'm good at is problem solving. Okay. Um, I'm always solution focused and like how can we make something work? I truly believe there's always an answer for something. Yes. You absolutely. may not know what the answer is, but right. it's always an answer. Mm -hmm. And what you what you do is you just keep trying something different until you get there. Find it. That's why I don't believe in giving up. I just believe in pivoting and trying something else. So that's what I want to be remembered for. And when, when you're an entrepreneur, you have to think about things that way. Listen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, how do you want to be remembered, okay? Put it in the comments while we go ahead and close out with Miss Bloco herself, yes. okay, the creator. Tell everybody where they can find you. Okay. online all your platforms your web address tell them one more time i got y'all local search 
The website is www.blocalsearch.com. So remember, black and local put together. If you're looking to get listed, um, you're a business owner, a black owned business, um, you'll go to the website, go to advertise, and go ahead and go through the process. If you have any questions, the contact information, the email, and the telephone number is a toll free number. Um, check it out and give me a call. Instagram, local search, all one word. Um, you can find me there. Make sure you follow me, like any pictures. If you're looking for a shout out, let me know. Yeah, just reach out. Just reach out. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot the what most girl? important thing. What? Download the app. Download the app. It's, download the I, app. I believe this in the <laughs> Apple store. It's, yes, the Apple and the Google Play store. Listen, y'all better download Every, the app. Download the app. Get it. You can find it by Local Search. It's Local Search all across the board. I keep it simple. You can't forget it. Local Search. Make sure you download the app. Listen. She's not the only directory, but she yeah. is a successful directory. Yeah. Uh, you heard the career she'll like sell it and tell you and bring it to you. Yes. Thank you for yes. joining us. Thank you, and thank you all for tuning in. Thank you yes. so much. Yes, no problem. Listen, I found her online, y'all. This is why we got to support our people. Support your people. Go find her. Go follow her. We love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, follow us on Instagram. You know who I am, Cara, the career cheerleader. If you are a business and you need an interview just like this one to showcase your beautiful face like my co-host here today, please email me, thecareercheerleader at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. It's real simple. Or, of course, keep following the Red Table Talk RVA page. We're going to bring you updates. And, of course, we're trying to get Jada over here. So somebody tag her below. So she can come send us a video and tell us. Because yes. I believe we're going to be at 100,000 before the end of the year. I mean, I'm speaking it. I love it. Yes. I never thought I'd put RV on the map. But I am and we are. And we love it. Yes. We love I'm it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it too. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all have a good afternoon. And shout out to my replay family again. Thanks for watching to the end. Bye, y'all.